I'm going to show you how to create drop down menus in Axia RP. Um, currently I have a menu up the top. Um, I'll just right click and break away first state so it's normal again. So you can see I've got my uh, links in there. All I need to do is select those, right click, create dynamic panel, now I need to double click and let's uh, no, let's resize it first. So everything ends up a little bit skew if moving around, but there is method to this. So here we go. Then I just double click and I put everything back where it belongs. And now I've got a nice little dynamic panel um, for my menu. So this is the first step and I need to give it a name. I'm going to call it my... I'm going to type it correctly, main menu DP, there we go, so I've got this set up there. Now I need to decide what I want my drop down menu to look like and I've actually created some extra content here. Um, there are two ways you can really do it, so I'm just going to copy and paste this one so you can see what that will look like. Uh, if I go over here, this is sort of the traditional way that you would do it. So when you hover over this or click on it, it will open up a menu like this. That's a little bit dated, to be honest. The current way that many people are doing it is with a nice little horizontal one to slop below. And so that's what I'm going to do here. So when you go, hover over menu or you click on menu, it opens this. And that actually gets to my next point. In fact, I would recommend um, clicking rather than hovering to open your drop down menu. And there's a few reasons for that. Uh, actually, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going <laughs> to align things a little bit better here. Let's just get them in alignment. There we go. That looks better. Okay. So the thing is, if you've got a hover menu, you have to be so precise. All that has to happen is you slip off there just for a second with your mouse and you lose your menu. Similarly, when you're um, transitioning down to the drop down menu, if you miss the menu at all, it closes the menu. And it just means that if accessibility and usability wise it's not as good to use as something that clicks to open the menu in fact if you have a look at my structure over here we have menus but it's not a page it's a folder containing these pages so in fact when we go to menu um, that Clicking on that will open our drop down menu and then we can choose these other pages. It's not going to take you to a page itself and really that's kind of the recommended way that you do drop down menus now. It's much easier for the user, especially on mobile devices because you have uh, touchscreen de devices that are all different sizes now. So we need to accommodate for touch screens as well as clicking and touch screens don't have a hover state. So we have a main menu dynamic panel and we have a horizontal drop down dynamic panel. So what we want to do is start off by hiding this and you can easily do that with this little eye symbol here. Um, I'll just see if I can zoom in on that so that you can see it a bit better. Here we go. Oops. There we go. So you just have to click on that. And there we go, it's hidden. You still see the color behind it um, simply because that way we know that it's in the design and we don't forget that we've got a dynamic panel sitting there. So we need to turn it on. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to double click on this to open my main menu dynamic panel. I'll just hide that little magnifier. We click on menu and we create interactions. So click or tap open link is not what we want. We want new interaction, click or tap, show, hide. And that's where we choose the horizontal drop down dynamic panel. And you can see that's why I name everything because it then makes it very, very easy to locate it uh, when we're searching for the target. Now, what we want to do is choose toggle. Toggle means that if it's currently hidden, tapping the menu will turn it on. And if the uh, menu is showing, tapping the menu will hide it again.
You can even animate it if you really want. So I might have a slide down and a slide up animation or a fade in, fade out. That's completely up to you. Just make sure any interaction effect, any um, animation effect actually fits in with the rest of the design and doesn't steal attention. It should be quite subtle. Okay, so we'll do that. Now, if I preview, and you should always preview as you go, Let's try this and there we go. We've got a little drop down menu and this will take us to our different pages. Now obviously I don't have my menu up here to return again. So that will be the next thing that we take care of in this design. So I'll go back to Axia. Okay, and now what we want to do is repeat this menu across the pages, which means I want to create a master to be able to do that. So I want to uh, get out of the dynamic panel. I'm going back to my index page. So I'm selecting both of these. So I've selected my main menu dynamic panel and the horizontal drop down dynamic panel. So both of those right click and create master. So I might call this um, menu master continue and we go to masters. Now what I recommend is you right click, drop behavior, don't use place anywhere because we don't want to place it anywhere. We want to lock it to the master location. We want it to be in the top left of every page. So now if I go to breakfast, I can drag over the menu master, lunch, drag over the menu master, afternoon tea, and we just do this for every one of our pages, except of course the extra content page that I'm using just to store a few uh, dynamic panels and things that I've made, great. So now if I go back to the index page and test it, here we go, we can jump through and check any of the and you see how each time it's hidden when I get to the page um, but I can just open and close that and I can also go to contact us and we now have a nice little neat menu with a drop down menu.